Hello and welcome to a special weekend product post. Um, as many of you might know, there's something called uh, Free Day that happened this last week, so we've pushed the product post back till Saturday. Um, I'm not really sure. Uh, we were filming this ahead of time, so we have no idea how Free Day is going to turn out. We don't know if people are going to be happy or sad or who knows, but my prediction is that, I don't know, Free Day is going to last exactly two hours seven minutes and three seconds and then it's gonna be over but you know that's I don't know, that's just a prediction we'll see how close I get um, so let's look at what products we have this week and we can see what you can spend your free day money on so you might be wondering why the lights are a little bit dimmer well we've got something special to show you as we always do uh, a week or two ago we had those RGB LED strip lights um, this might look like the same thing but these have ICs at every interval and you can individually control every single LED on this entire strip. So instead of just setting the whole strip to one color, you can change every single LED individually. So let's take a look and see what this looks like. And there we go. So red, green, blue LEDs, and we can change the color of every single one individually. So with just a simple microcontroller, you can fade them, blink them, make them you know, go from the middle out, do whatever you want. And you can even put an array of these together and make like moving images, um, animated GIFs if you want. So these are really neat. They're waterproof just like the other ones and still with the self-adhesive back. And um, yeah, definitely use these in your next project. Here we have the MPR121 capacitive keypad. And basically what it is, is a breakout board for the MPR-121, which is a capacitive touch sensing IC. We give you a board with the IC mounted and these 12 touch pads. And basically what happens is when you touch these pads, it sends a signal out over I2C and you can detect uh, which one of these pads have been touched. Uh, we just soldered some headers on here, it doesn't come with these, um, but we can show you how this thing works. So if we look at the demonstration, we've got just a proto board and we've got an Arduino Pro hooked up here and an LCD screen. So if we look at the LCD screen, we've just got a simple uh, bit of code that when we touch one of these pads, the corresponding number will show up on the LCD screen. Um, so these can be really useful for any kind of input where you don't want to have buttons or switches or anything else. The other thing about this board that you should know is logic that comes out of it is actually 3.3 volt logic, not 5 volt logic. So if you try hooking this up to an Arduino with that logic level converter, you're going to have some issues. Uh, we're using it with the 3 volt Arduino Pro, which works perfectly. But if you're hooking this up to the regular Arduino, like an Uno or a DeMillanova, you will need a logic level shifter, so just remember that. So a little while ago, we announced our own special blend of solder, and we were selling it, but we were selling it in pretty big spools, and a lot of people wanted sample packs of it, or they wanted smaller spools. What you see in front of me is exactly that. This is the same stuff that we've been selling, just in smaller packages. We have it in quarter pound spools and 20 foot lengths. And it comes in both the 0.032 inch diameter and the 0.02 inch diameter. So we've got the two different size, two different packages, and then the big spools that we've got on the website. This stuff is lead free and water soluble, so you're not going to kill any bald eagles by flushing it down the drain. And um, it's pretty good stuff. If you haven't tried it or are looking for a good solder, get one of the little sample packs, throw it on your next order, try it out. You're going to like it. It's really good stuff. Here we have an e-paper display. These are similar to what's used in uh, e-book readers and things like that. The unique thing about these versus a traditional LCD or something like that is that once you display something on it, the image will remain until you refresh it again. So you don't need to have any power to keep the display. Uh, this one's been on for a couple days now and it will stay like this until we refresh it again with something else. Uh, so they're very low power consumption, and this particular one is actually a 10 by 2 character display. So it's designed specifically for displaying characters and has uh, built-in driver boards. And we will have a specific connector available for this, and we are coming out with a breakout board as well. So these are pretty neat, and let's see what it looks like up close. 
So you can see it has a unique look to it and it's got pretty large size characters across of it and it's a really high contrast display and since there's no backlight you can use it in direct lighting and it looks just fine. So these are my top picks for this week and if you were lucky enough to win something on free day congratulations and maybe you can pick one of these up for free. So we'll see you next week. We're going to have more new products as always. So see you then.